Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And yesterday I went to the bins. Um, I didn't go on for like a week um, just because I had so much stuff and I had a lot to do. So I went yesterday and the first like, I don't even, like the first hour was so bad. It was like, I got like maybe one or two things. It was like scraps, just basically just bad. And then <laughs> there's one been rolled out and I cannot even like begin to tell you how crazy that was like it, it wasn't even one rotation it was literally just one bin it was all you're gonna see I didn't just prefacing this because you're gonna see all this stuff and I want you to know that this is all from one bin it was like all designer um and it had like these boutique tags on them like handwritten tags from some place, it didn't say what the place was, but it was very apparent that either it went out of business or they were just donating stuff that didn't sell. Um, so yeah, the majority of the really good brands is from that one bin. And then of course there's like other just bread and butter items you'll see. Um, but I'm super happy with what I got and I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Okay, the first item is this super, I think this might've been one of the first things I found. This is a theory top and it's a size P, which I believe is like an extra small. It's this uh, really cute patterned shirt and it is like so heavy. Like I think this is like a pound, but anyways, it's super cute and it has these different patterns all over it. Um, it's pretty stretchy. It's just uh, rayon, nylon and spandex, but I thought this was cute. It's like kind of like just a sweater. But I like selling theory when it's like a newer piece and that's definitely a newer label. Um, okay, next is Anthropology. This is made by Anthropology. This one's a size zero. And how cute is this print? It's like a citrus <laughs> fruit print. And yeah, so there's like fruit all over. It is like a button front blouse. I think I found this and the theory top, like those were the first things I found in the um, first hour and I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. And then it got better. <laughs> so, um, next, or did I find that theory top in that bin? I can't remember. It's all a blur. All right. Next is Reformation. So this is definitely a bolo. I do better with like dresses, um, skirts and tops. Their jeans just don't sell for me. Obviously I'll pick them up at the bins if I find them, but I was really happy that this was a dress. So it's super cute, um, the green. It's like a mini dress, buttoned down, and it is a size. Usually Reformation doesn't have the size on the like inside tag. You have to look like the care label. Um, this is size four. How cute is this? Like, I really wanna find a stock photo for it, but I don't see a style number. So we'll have to figure that one out. All right, the comps on this was really surprising to me. So this is the brand Cupcakes and Cashmere, which is sold on Revolve. And I know it's like a good brand. It retails for a ton, but I never like really pick it up if it's just like a basic thing. But this is genuine leather and it's like a cute little mini skirt. And the comps on this are like $60 on Poshmark. So I'm so happy about that. I think that it helps that it's real leather. Um, but comps for like cupcakes and cashmere skirts that are faux leather are still really good. So maybe I just, I think like leather is just in right now, but it is definitely really cute. All right, next, I actually found this on the floor at the bins and I was like, okay, why did nobody see this? This brand is so good. So. It, this is what the tag looks like, and I never remember what the actual brand is called. It's like this cute little polo shirt, but I'm pretty sure the inside says it. Um, okay, so it's a size extra small, and the brand is Mason Margiela. Says it down here. I don't know if you can see. Size extra small, and it's super cute. Yeah, I would say like I'll, just like 15 items are listed from this haul so far, but... Yeah, I'm working on it. All right, next is this 
dress. This is by the brand Cos or C O S. I love this brand. It's like a I don't want to say diffusion cuz that sounds like it's worse. It's like a better branch off of H&M. So they're like connected, but it's like way better, way more expensive. This is a European size 36. And it's just like this super cute um like sheath dress. And it has pockets. How cute. So there's that. All right. The comps on this is are is the comps on this is really good. Um, this is just Nike, um, but it's Nike Tech and it is a it has like a pocket on the front and it's like a long maxi skirt. It's like an athletic skirt. Not sure what sport you'd wear this for if it's just kind of like a everyday like lounge walk thing. <laughs> Sorry, though, one of our other dogs is over there. Um, anyways, the comps on this were like 50. I think I have it listed for 60 or something because obviously I run like sales and I and will accept offers. But I would be happy with like 40. So that one's really cute. Okay, next is this is All Saints and this is a size large. Um, this is called like the, what is it? It says it on the inside tag something oh, sorry guys um lock roll neck sweater and it's a wool alpaca blend and it has like an asymmetrical front that's what the stock photo has so I knew that that's what it's actually supposed to look like I was like maybe it's shrunk on one side but nope it's supposed to look like that I love all saints it always gets so much attention whenever I list it um but obviously I don't find it like too often because it's not super common <laughs> Um, okay, next is this little clutch. This is super cute. And it's like, it took me a while to figure out if this was navy or black, but I think it's navy um, and white striped and it's it's actually Bowden. You can't really see, but it's, I was it's kind of surprised that it ended up being Bowden. Okay, next are these pajama pants. They're in like excellent brand new condition. This is Garnet Hill, which I like selling Garnet Hill, but Typically, like, things just like this I'll only pick up at the bins because it's pretty clean. They're like a flannel pajama pant. Um, and the reason she's barking is because whenever I bring her back from the P-A-R-K, she is, like, tired, so she starts barking, but she'll fall asleep any second now. Okay, this is a new-to-me brand, and it happens to be super expensive. Well expensive it's not like it's like almost three hundred dollars for this dress so it's super good um and this is obviously i found in that bin this is the brand state of georgia size small um and this is new with the tags it's the brand the point the point dress short paper cut whatever that means so this uh style and this print is sold out so I listed it high at like 180, but it's super cute, like a wrap dress, um, and it has this tie, so super cute. I really liked that, and I'm glad that I grabbed it. I wasn't sure, just because like the quality doesn't feel like it would be hundreds of dollars, but I'm glad I took a chance. All right, next is a brand that I don't love to sell. Um, just because it just sits and sits and sits. But this is new with tags, so I kind of felt like I had to. This is Chaser. And this shirt actually retailed for $57, which is a lot for a shirt, for just a t-shirt. Because it has no graphic on it or anything. It's just a pink short sleeve t-shirt. But um, I grabbed it at the bins. I probably paid like $0.50. Cents. So if I can get 15 for it, I will be happy. All right, next is um, Athleta. This one's a size small. This is a skirt with built-in shorts. Um, super cute, gray. So, I don't know. I feel like Athleta skirts sell well, and this is in really good condition, so I was happy about that. All right. Next is... <laughs> this is so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. This is the brand... Um, here we go. Helmet Lang. 
This is a size large. Unfortunately, I feel like their resale value has gone down, but it still retails for a lot, and it's from the bins. So I grabbed it. This is like a drapey, like bodycon dress, and it has this really cute cutout. I can't describe what this feeling is. It's so soft. It kind of feels like modal or something, but let's see. Um, micro modal. So maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Well, I really liked it. I do have this listed. I think I only have it listed for like 50, but again, the comps weren't very good. So just went with what I could get. Um, okay. This, these are a pair of Athleta size 10, which is a great size. These are super cute. Um, I forget the style name of these, but uh, I don't think they're the Brooklyn jogger. I can't remember. But anyways, they're super nice. I love finding Athleta pants. And yeah, these are in excellent condition. Um, yeah, they look great. Maybe you just need like a lint roll and then they'll be good to go. Okay, this already sold. So I listed this last night on eBay and Posh. I cross list both, but it sold on eBay for $30, I believe, for a scarf. So this is the brand a piece um, and it's made in Paris. This is a silk cotton blend. Um, here, I'm gonna move so I can kind of show you. It's like this really pretty um, floral scarf with like a fringe on the side. And yeah, so comps on this were like 40 to $50 and I listed it for 40 and I got an offer for 30 this morning. Um, so like I said, I went to the bins yesterday and I listed some of this stuff already. And yeah, this already sold this morning. So I'm going to put this over here. Um, happy about that one. I guess that's a good brand. I did find a couple scarves and I'm excited to look them up now because that sold super fast. <laughs> and they're all from that bin, that really good bin. Okay, this is a brand I've never heard of before. Um, new with tags and it's called Tom K. Nguyen. I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. Um, this is a size eight and this is a hundred percent silk. It's a super cute cherry ruffle tank. It's like super lightweight, really, really cute. I love this. This would be so nice for the spring and summer. Um, so that was adorable. All right. Next is, I think I've found this brand maybe once or twice before, but I can't remember. It must've been like a while ago. So this is a brand Ace and Jig. Um, if you don't know, this is a major bolo. This is a size medium. I think I listed this for 89 or something. And it's just like a striped blouse. Super cute. Um, this does have metallic in it. As you can see, it's like metallic-y. It's super pretty. There's like this like iridescent kind of um, stitching. But yeah, I love this so much. And I was like shocked. Also, the person who had... My friend and I were laughing about this, the bins. She, like, so the lady that had, like, the boutique that was, that donated the stuff. I'm assuming it's a lady. It could be a man. Um, she had, like, prices on all this stuff. And, like, her pricing was insane. Like, this guy there found a Eileen Fisher t-shirt. And it was, like, she had it priced at $189. i am like, I wonder if that even retailed for that much. I just thought it was so funny, but I took all those tags off because they're not the brand tag. So yeah. All right. Next is, I only got this because it's new with tags. This is Zara. Um, I do like picking up Zara, but this is just pretty basic. It's a size small um, and it's really cute. It has like these balloon sleeves, which I love. Um, and then the elastic waist, but super cute. I'm like sort of in a rush because I have an appointment in about like an hour and a half, but I'm trying to show you guys everything. Um, so this is the brand Renee Lazard, Lizard, <laughs> um, not Lizard, but size 36. This is really expensive. This is a wool blazer sweater cardigan thing. It's really nice and the fronts are like some snaps here. Super cute. So, loved that. Did I list this already? Or did I even take photos? I can't remember. All right. Um, 
Next is just Uniqlo, but it's a collab with however you say that, and it's a size medium. I just thought this was so cute, and comps were like 25 to 30. It's like an Argyle cardigan. How adorable. I feel like that's pretty stylish and like trendy. So I like that. I've gotten that collab before, and I feel like it gets a good amount of attention. Um, okay, this might be like one of the best things I found. I was shocked about the retail on this brand. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I put it on my story. Um, but a sweater like this from this brand retails from $800 to $1,500 for just a basic cashmere sweater. So the brand is Extreme Cashmere. Um, so it says Extreme here and then Cashmere on that side. Um, and I did look this over. There's no holes or stains. Um, it's a short sleeve, 100% cashmere sweater in like this salmon pink color. I This one probably didn't retail for a thousand. It was probably like 800 because it's like short sleeve, but holy cow, like what? Um, I was shocked. So I don't know how much I'm gonna list this for because I couldn't find any comps. Um, and that's like their like logo thing. That's what it looks like. I couldn't find any comps. Um, I also can't find the size because the it, there's no inside tag. So I'm gonna have to look at their size chart um, because I do put measurements. But to me, it kind of looks like a large. Um, but yeah, you should check out that website. It's Extreme Cashmere and they have so many cool looking like different sweaters. It is like extreme, like really their styles are extreme. Um, but they have a lot of basics that are just super cute that aren't extreme and I like them, but I would never pay that much ever for a sweater. All right, this is a new to me brand and it's super expensive, um, probably a bolo. I haven't looked up like this specific style by this brand, but it sells really well. So this is Sophie de Hoor. Um, and I was kind of just grabbing everything that looked nice or that had a tag in that bin. So I just grabbed this and I didn't even look it up until I got home last night, but I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and it's just a white like button down, but I am expecting around 60 to $80. It has like a nice front pocket, um, no stains. So that was the other thing that was exciting was um, it looked like it came from like a store or a boutique and they obviously looked everything over for stains before selling it. So everything was like really good condition. Um, all right. Next is this scarf. I didn't, I haven't looked this up yet, um, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's cotton and linen made in India. And it is super pretty. Like I said, I just kind of grabbed everything. And so I grabbed all the scarves too. Um, but yeah, that one needs to be photographed still. Um, this one I did look up comps. And I think I'm expecting 40 to 50 for it, which again, is kind of insane for a scarf. Um, it's called Lee and Luca. Oops. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking, he barks a lot. Lee and Luca, and it's like this really pretty embroidered scarf. Um, so pretty, I love that. That one I'll put over here as well. All right, next is another bolo. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but this is the brand Gary Graham, size two. I recently learned about this, and it's super, super, super expensive. So this one's just cotton, size two. And I loved the like side, this is like racer stripes, I think is that what that's called. Um, really cute. I think these are like leather or something. And then it has this cute um, zip detail. So loved those. All right. Next is another new to me brand, which this is like kind of exciting. A lot of this stuff is like new to me. This is the brand Amelia Toro, size six. Um, again, just like a pretty like basic, but I feel like it's kind of like an updated basic. You could wear this out like to a special event, but it's just plain black. I really think this is like super pretty. I feel like it's just like polyester or something. Let me, let me check. Uh, okay, well, 
can't find the tag, but I'll have to come back to that one. Um, but trust me, it's a good, it's a good one. All right, next is this brand, which I'm still not sure of, NSF. Let me know if you guys have heard of this or if it's anything good or if I just grabbed this because it was near all the other good stuff and it's no good. 100% um, cotton, made in USA, and they're just like a pair of black pants. I don't know. I feel like I've heard of this brand before, but I, I, simply, I just like can't remember. Um, I'll look them up, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, next is this. I put this on my story and I was asking if anyone knows what this is because I can't figure it out. It's 100% silk, but just looks like this, size large, and it's like a really cute lightweight blazer. It's super pretty and it has like this embroidery. Um, I'm like almost positive it's good, but I can, just can't for the life of me figure it out. Okay, I'm just organizing my car a little bit, so I thought I would just show you what's in my car right now, and then I'll switch back to being inside my house and show you the rest of that stuff. But this is just a little bit easier. So, next is this We The Free, Free People Top. It is super cute. It's just like a thermal, um, what would you call this? Yeah, just a blouse. It's like pretty sheer, super cute. Had to grab that one. This was exciting and I was so shocked it was still sitting in the bins. This might be like one of my best finds. So unfortunately it's just a skirt so it's not like gonna get the most amount of money. Sorry, but just moving this. Um, this is Isabel Morant. And if you haven't heard of this brand, it is so expensive. This is a high-end designer. This is a really cute ruffle skirt. How adorable is that? Like, that's just so cute. I love it. So, I was so excited to find that. Next is just like a bread and butter. This is inside out, but this is Mountain Hardware. Size small. It's just like a athletic top short sleeve for men probably get like 15 12 to 15 for that one all right um what's all right sorry <laughs> next this is barney's new york taste luxury humor I'm not sure what that means it's 100 silk and it's a size 12 and it's like a really cute skirt 12 is a good size to sell. This is, I like selling Barney's New York brand. Um, and that's just like a department store, right? Um, but yeah, so cute. I feel like I could list this for at least 60, hopefully. All right. Next. Why is all my stuff crazy? Ugh. Sorry, guys. Next, I think this might be the only pair of shoes that I got. These are a pair of Corkies. Um, they're really cute. I've sold this exact style before. They do need some like oil or something to like brighten them up a little bit. Um, they're size eight. Um, they're really cute. So I thought I would grab those ones. Oh, and then this has like a thrift store tag on it, but I got it at the bins. Um, like, I don't know what store that is. It says good cheer on it. Um, but they wanted 12. Let's see. Um, this is a really nice Burton jacket in a size extra, extra large. Great size. This is dry ride something. Anyways, it's like a hooded ski jacket. Super nice. Kind of looks like a shirt, but it is just like a ski jacket material. Um, it's like really heavy weight. And yeah, so probably paid like $4 for it just, you know, based on like the heftiness. Um, I also got two boxes of these like, got like this glassware. Um, it's super random, but I actually looked up comps and they weren't bad. So I did get a whole set. Um, the famous grouse. I'm not sure what that is, um, but this is super cute. It has like the um, measurements on the side. So yeah, I got, there's four in this box and there's four in the other box, so I got eight. Um, I might list them as like sets of four. So just do two listings. Um, 
yeah i don't know it's super random the things you get at the bins are just so random so um <laughs> obviously did grab that though because i did look up comps and they were pretty good um okay what else can i show you okay here's a scarf another one of those scarves um it's 100 percent cotton the brand is mii i've never heard of that i thought it was cute though um has like a bunch of books um but like this probably costs like 10 cents so i was okay with like just risking it um i didn't want to take the time to look it up i just thought i would just try it so yeah all right i'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff inside so it is the next day but i'm wearing the same shirt so i guess it kind of just works with the video um <laughs> so I did give my dog a bone on the floor, so I'm so sorry if you can hear that. That's the only way I can get her from not barking right now. But anyways, let's just hop into it. The next item is this brand. I had to look it up, but I was pleasantly surprised. It's called Perseverance London, size 8, and it's like this really cute lace dress. Um, it's like kind of gives me like witchy core like you could wear this for Halloween But you can also wear it like out one night. There you go She oh wow, she's bouncing around. Okay, good girl So this is super cute. I did not ever know about this brand But um, it was in that one really good bin. So I just like went ahead and you know Decided to give it a try the inside tag says it's nylon and rayon. So there's no like lace or anything, but yeah, really cute. Hopefully that does well. It's hard to know with new brands because it's like I don't have any experience selling it. Um, <clears throat> but like for example this, this is just Zara and I just sold a bodycon dress from Zara on eBay. Like those I know will sell consistently for like 20 to 25. So I was confident in picking this up. Um, it's really cute. It's just like a button front dress. Doesn't need a wash. There's just like some deodorant or something. You never know what it is from the bins. But yeah, I'll put that in my wash pile. But yeah, so it's like trying new brands is fun. But it's also a little bit risky because you don't have any experience selling it. But it's kind of makes what makes it fun. <clears throat> okay, next. This is something I've actually sold this exact sweater before but in a different colorway. This is Athleta, and this one's a size small. This is a hooded, long, like, Fair Isle kind of winter cardigan sweater. It's super pretty, and it's also in really good condition. How nice is that? So, this one is wool and nylon. And let me see if I can zip it up real fast. There we go. Yeah, so it's just like a nice long zip front sweater. Love that. Um, okay, have you guys heard? So I got this cup and I love it. This is from the website or the app Temu or Temu, T-E-M-U. I ordered some stuff because I've been seeing people rave about it and I ordered some stuff and I am very pleasantly surprised. If you guys ever want to see like a haul video or an unboxing, um, let me know. I'd be happy to. Not sponsored obviously, but just thought it'd be like <clears throat> kind of fun. I got some like um, equivalent of like, what is it called? Magic erasers, but it's like in like thin strip form. So you kind of have to like roll it and it worked so well. And it was like a pack of 48 for like $4 or something. So I would be happy to show a review if you guys are interested, but obviously I'm okay if you're not because it's not reselling related. Well, I guess it kind of is if I'm doing cleaning, but anyways, this is Gudrun, Gudrun Soden. I have no idea how to say that. I know you guys can see that tag. Um, this is like a really cute wool hat. I've sold this brand before. Sells super well. And this is a wool like cap. 100% wool. Yeah, organic wool um hand wash blah, blah blah anyways super cute was excited to find that one this is just a <clears throat> vince t-shirt it's pretty plain but i will pick up vince at the bins size so small and it's just like a cute pocket tee long sorry my dog did that um really cute striped super soft t-shirt 
Okay, next is the brand Eva Franco. Um, this, I believe, is sold at Anthropology. It says extra small. And I really liked this, like, cute um, striped with, like, the ruffles. There's, like, a cute little tie in the back with, like, a keyhole. How cute is that? So, definitely wanted to grab that. I for sure sold that brand before, but I can't remember what it was that I sold. So, who knows? Okay. Next. Oh, this is so cute. I forgot that I got this. This is Zara. Size medium. And what is in it? Hold on. Okay, it's just viscose. I thought maybe it'd be linen. But anyways, it's like a really cute blazer, but it has like this little side um, button detail. Like this cream ivory off-white color. Um, so cute. This is like a kind of a newer tag, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. But super cute. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a blogger favorite, but... You have to always, like, look up the style number just to be sure. Okay, another new to me brand. This is, like, a video full of, like, bolos. <laughs> this is the brand Tiza. Um, made in Mexico, size 2. And I saw somebody sold one of these for, like, $100. This is, like, a dress that has a really cool pattern on it. Like, how cool is that with the faces? Or, I guess it's just one face, maybe. Um, I just thought this was super cute, short sleeve. Um, yeah, pleasantly surprised. Hi, Ashley. Okay, next is a sports bra. This is really cute, like pink color with like some strappy backs. Um, and it's in like so, such good condition. This is Athleta in a size 3X, which finding plus size Athleta seems like kind of rare. I feel like I never do, but I'm really excited because I feel like that should sell well. Um, oh wait, what? I'm just noticing, it says Athleta Alicia Keys. So it's like a collab with Alicia Keys, that's so cool. I love her, she's like, so cool. All right, <clears throat> next, what is this? I don't think I looked this up, but it has, oh here, I can show you guys what the tag looks like of the boutique. It looks like this, and then she had this price at $79. Paisley Mint Skirt. I don't know what that means. And the tag says... True... Air... I can't read that. Ah! I can't read it. True something. There's a writing on the bottom that's like in a different... Um, color. Anyways, it's really cute. I just grabbed it because it was... <sighs> But had that lady's um, tag on it. But yeah, I'll have to do some research on that. I have no idea. Okay. Next is Alice and Olivia. This is a really good brand. I feel like the resale value may have went down just a little bit. Um, but this is seems like a newer style. This is cotton wool angora nylon polyester size 2. And it's this adorable little button skirt. It's like a mini skirt. How cute. I feel like this is super on trend right now. Um, so yeah, the buttons are all over the front. They go like this. So, really cute. Let's see. Okay, next. Uh, okay. So I don't always pick up this brand. However, this is new with tags. And it's 100% silk. So, hold on. Oh, did I make it worse? I'm trying to... <laughs> it was like inside out now. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I'm so sorry. Just... Here we go. Alright, I think I got it. Um, okay, so this is brand Tracy Reese. Which I've heard of like plenty by Tracy Reese. But I guess this is just her... Regular line, 100% silk, and the tag, where did the tag go? It's right here. This is a mess. <laughs> okay, there's the tag, Tracy Reese. I don't know, I thought it was kind of cute, so that one came home with me. All right. 
Next is, this is a good athletic brand that I really like to find. This is called Oysel, size large, and this is made in Seattle, or from Seattle at least. I thought this was cute, it says Go Bananas, <laughs> just like a t-shirt. But that brand always sells really well for me. All right, this is a 100% wool hat by the brand. It's just Nordstrom brand. Um, I thought this was cute though, and 100% wool definitely will help that one sell, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Next up is this really cute Levi's jacket. So this is like a corduroy, size large, corduroy with like a Sherpa collar jacket super cute um probably women's but i could be wrong hopefully i can get like 30 for that but could be just like 25 i have so much stuff you guys this is insane okay next is another zara um, this one I think is men's. This is a size extra large. I'll have to look up the style. But it's like a really cute denim jacket. This could be women's. Um, but yeah, it has like distressing. So, I don't know. I, I like selling men's Zara too. So I would be fine either way. Okay. Next is... The brand this is rag and bone size 10 and this is a wool blazer it's super cute it's like a i don't know really cute blazer <laughs> that's all i can really say about it i love i really think it's cute um nice basic all right here's another scarf this one is bess nielsen Cody and Co. I have no idea. Um, hand woven, hundred percent cotton. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just like a cute scarf. I don't know. We'll look that one up. All right. This is a Lulu's dress, size small. It's like a cute bodycon dress. So. I don't know. I like picking up Lulu's dresses. Doo, 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 doo. All right, I'm pulling stuff out here. Okay, next is, here's another tag. This one doesn't have a price, but this is the brand White and Warren, 100% cashmere. I feel like this one had a stain. Maybe. Yeah, there's a small stain on the bottom, but it's like a really cute, just like cashmere sweater. Um, I like that brand. It sells really well. So I was excited to find that. Okay. Next is Toad & Co. Size medium. This color is so bright. It's like coming up not as bright on camera, but it's like really bright in person. This is like a really nice athletic dress in super good condition. That should sell well. This is a new to me brand sports bra I think could be a bikini but I think it's a sports bra um the brand is called feed me fight me size large and it's like kind of strappy red sports bra pretty cute I feel like the comps were decent okay next is another Tracy Reese piece size 10 this one is wool and it's definitely vintage. Here you can see again the tag, $79. And there's just like cute trousers. I would have probably picked these up like if it wasn't in that one bin, but I just grabbed it because I thought maybe it'd be something really good. But I thought I think they're really cute. They're just like a wide leg trouser. Sorry if I'm like not making sense today. I'm like really tired. Yesterday I had this um extensive allergy testing and I'm just tired from that so yeah all right this is another new to me brand I don't think it's like designer or anything but it is cute I wish I had buttoned it up before showing but this is um Nico Nico size small um this is like 
so it buttons the front and then it's like a full jumpsuit how cute it's like a chambray and i'm sure it's has to be linen right nope 100 percent cotton okay well it's really cute and it has like tie waists so love that that's like kind of my style, but I don't think I'd wear it because I don't really wear jumpsuits, but it's really cute. Okay, here's another scarf. You guys are probably like, why is she giving so many scarves? Um, this is the brand Faliera. I don't know. It says Italia. I'm not to look this up, but weighed like nothing and it's really cute. So yeah, I don't know. So all right, next is, okay, here's another, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> Isabelle Morant et toi. I think that might be a diffusion, but I could be wrong. Not sure the size, but this is a really cute dress. It's just like black, and then it has these on the bottom. How cute. And the back has like zippers. It's not like common that you find Isabel Morant at the bins. So it's definitely like pretty stoked about that. Okay. Um, so my friend that I usually see there gave me these. Um, this is cut loose, size large. It's kind of like a lag and look brand. Um, this is just a button front shirt. Um, and then this one is the same, but like a dress, size large. And yeah, it's just a dress with like buttons on the side. I don't think this brand sells like as well as it used to or like doesn't sell it great but I do like picking it up when I find it um there's Ashley oh she is so tired <laughs> are her eyes open yeah okay this I got for style basically but I also kind of feel like maybe this is something a spillabong with collaboration with the salty blonde I don't know I've never heard of that size medium is that anything good? I don't know. I thought it was super cute. Little cropped t-shirt. It says, stay salty, 1973, tour. Short sleeve. I thought that was just cute, so I grabbed it based on style. Um, this is Title IX, size small. I just recently sold a Title IX long sleeve shirt, so I think this brand does sell well. <sighs> polyester spandex I was hoping it had like wool in it but it doesn't that's it's okay all right next is this is just Norm Thompson I think I've sold this brand before I got this based on style and it's linen and cotton how cute is this it's like boho embroidery I like the sleeves how they're like somewhat short I, I don't know. I just thought that was cute. So I got that one. And then this I didn't even look up. But um, it's new with tags. TSD. And then it says two star dog. So I'll just look that up. And that's a Sharpie on my finger if you're wondering. <laughs> um, it's just a like a jacket. I pick up like most new with tag stuff at the bins. Um, just because... I don't know. It feels weird, like, leaving it if I know it's going to go to the landfill. So, yeah. Next is a Athleta top, size medium. This is definitely, like, an older tag, but it's, like, pretty substantial, like, athletic long sleeve. It's super stretchy. Um, so, yeah. Next are, these are just Burton, but they're, like, a base layer legging size small um and I don't know I just thought like these would be okay maybe I shouldn't have gotten them but yeah they're just leggings I don't know I feel like that's good for like skiing or something all right here's another scarf I don't know if this one even has a brand on it so I mean there's this but it doesn't say like a brand name I don't know I'll do some research um, look at it. Oh, wait, there is a tag. Lee Corin. No idea. So, we'll see. <laughs> All right, next is, this is really cute. This is Kate Spade, size large. It's like this, like, 
cute patterned top with like a tie in the back. Uh, this has to be silk. Oh yeah, 52% silk. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, cute. All right, these I grabbed um, knowing that there was a stain because I saw someone throw these back, but I think it's just a surface stain. So you'll see there, it's like feels like surfacey. This is um, Athleta. And these are the Farallon Jogger size zero. Um, even if I can't get the stains out, I feel like I could just sell them as is because they, you can't really see the stain super well. But of course, I will try to stain treat that. Okay. Next are these Patagonia base layer like leggings. Oh, they're inside out. These are size medium. There's like a black legging. Those I can usually sell for like 15. What is happening? Oh. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, next is Tibby, size 12. This is an expensive brand. This is a cute like cold shoulder top, as you can see cold shoulder. It's like a super bright red orangey color. I like that a lot though. Right. Okay. Next, um, here's another example of those like boutique tags. Uh, this one was only $19, but it makes sense because these are just Zara. And they're the Zara basic denim. I just thought these were like a cute little like longer length denim short size eight. Yeah, I just sold a pair of Zara shorts today actually. So I think for like 15, but you know, it's like getting hotter outside. Okay, this just came off this tag, but I wanted to show you vintage Hawaiian dress, $159 she wanted for this. So, I actually don't know this brand. I was going to look it up. Yen's Casual Fashion Hawaii Size 8. Um, and it's vintage. Uh, so, I just was, like, curious about this. It's made, made in the USA. Like a super cute dress. Like, how am I going to photograph this and give it the what it needs to sell because it's so long and I don't know but <clears throat> yeah I like that a lot okay this is a new to me brand and definitely a bolo like oh my gosh I was like shocked it's called goin.j so this one I don't know if I like the style of it but it feels substantial the front has like these huge beads sewn on and then it's like a dress. The sleeve has these crazy ruffles. And then the bottom has this asymmetrical like ruffle as well. So yeah, I was definitely curious about this. This is a size four. Um, well, it says small and then it has like numeral sizes as well. So I guess a four is a small. So, this is very bread and butter, but this is just American Eagle, size large. Um, I thought this was cute. It has, like, a slit, and it's just a skirt, floral. This would be cute for, like, spring and summer with, like, a tank top or something. Um, this is a scarf. Yes, another scarf. Satya Paul, and it's 100% silk. I think I looked this one up, and it was good. But regardless, I didn't pay very much for it, so... Yeah, it's just a nice scarf. All right, there's a bag over here too. All right, did I already show these? I feel like maybe I showed you these, did I? If I did, I'm sorry, I'm showing these again. Clothes is the brand, they're like a wide leg corduroy pant. Super cute. Um, size 31. Maybe I showed my mom. I did give my mom a haul, so I, I'm can't remember if I showed her or you guys on the video. But anyways, this brand's really expensive, so it was a good find. This is Diane von Furstenberg, size 2. 
Unfortunately, this one's missing the belt, which I knew when I was at the bins, but I still decided to grab it because it's pretty cute. So the bottom's like a floral, and then the top <clears throat> has like this like deodorant stain, which I think I can get out with just like a wipe. Um, and it's silk. The upper is silk. So I don't know. Next is this brand called Jarbo. Um, this is super expensive. I've sold this before. And it's like this long gingham. It needs a steam, but it's like a gingham button-down front dress. <clears throat> really cute. Did I show you guys this? I feel like I did. Well, anyways, this has a tag. $129. These are Dolce & Gabbana pants. Size 42. They're like a pair of jeans. So, might send these into the real real, but I don't know. So, or I'll just sell them myself, I guess. Okay, these are Nike leggings, size extra large, which is the reason I got them. Uh, I feel like just like a good bread and butter item, especially like the size. Oh, this is so cute. Zara says small, and it's like this tank, ruffle tank. I love this so much. So cute. I wish it was my size. Although I don't know where I'd wear that, but really cute. Um, these are another Patagonia size small. These are another base layer. These are like the Capeline, I think is how you say it. So, and then I also got, okay, so these are empty. These are just Kendra Scott, which um, I feel like is a pretty good brand, but I, I'm just going to sell the boxes for like $5 each. They're empty. I don't know. Maybe someone will, or I'll probably want them together for like 10 bucks or something. I don't know. I feel like sometimes people like buying <clears throat> empty boxes for like gift giving or something. Next is another new to me brand. This wasn't like as good as I thought it was going to be, but I think I could still get 30 to 40. It's called Toka or Taka size two. It's like a wool houndstooth dress. Regardless, it's really cute. Okay. We're actually nearing the end, which is kind of crazy. The next is a Pilcro, which is sold at Anthropology size extra large great size and it's like this really nice sweater I feel like it might be a dress but it could also just be like a tunic length and this one polyester and elastane so there's no wool which I thought maybe there would be but yep all right next these are athleta these are the accelerate seven eight tight a size small Nice blue. They're in really good condition. You guys, this pile that I have over here going is all stuff I still need to photograph and lift. So that's kind of crazy, but. All right. Next is Rebecca Taylor, size small. Another, like, pretty expensive brand. I don't know how well this is going to do, but it's, like, a nice sweater cardigan. It's not, like, the cutest thing I've ever seen, but I kind of like it still. Um, and I do think it's wool. These I only got because they're new with tags. And they're size extra, extra large. Cosmo. Or Cosmo. Ah. The black legging. So, pretty simple. Next is a really good brand. That is definitely a bolo. This is called Nap. And it's size extra, extra large. They're like a lounge pant and they're super soft like this has to be let's see 100% wool so yeah super nice they do need to be depilled a little bit but um okay next is the brand project alabama i think this is an anthropology brand they oh wow 99 dollars maybe it's not i don't know maybe it's like its own brand it's pretty cute though. It's like a nice tank. 
with these little like stitching. How come they wanted $99? That's insane. Um, okay, this is a sweater and I was like, what is this? Like, it's just cute. And then of course I had to look on the back and it is Lululemon. Um, of course I can't find a size cause it's like a sweater, but I'll just have to measure. All right. And then the last couple pieces here, this is another Lulu's dress, size medium, super cute, like a halter pink cute and then the last piece is like not that exciting so I'm not ending on like a great note but it's still like cute it's just charter cashmere charter club size small turtleneck sweater and like this like speckled detail so yeah that is my huge haul from the bins um I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you're interested in anything in this haul please don't hesitate to DM me or comment. I also have my email, which I check pretty often um, in my description. So of course you can email me as well. I'll give you a good deal. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Right, Ashley?